in Oklahoma, my friend Jason didn't have much other than his smile and a few bad jokes. He laughed like a harmonica, and I always tried to sing along. Now, I hear he is homeless. I don't mean that he doesn't own a house. I mean he no longer has anyone to share it with. You see, smiles don't get you scholarships, and colleges never took him because he was never good at math, so he took up science, or cooking, or however you're comfortable saying he started making a math. I hear he lost things in this order. Job, family, teeth. His smile is a keyboard. It is important to know he is still smiling. I was recently told that meth is no longer a problem in places that matter. As a town scattered across Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Nebraska are just unfortunate circumstances. As if my family members are just graveyard filler waiting to happen. These politicians sleep so easy since they decided this isn't a problem, it's just meth culture. But no, my culture is small town. My culture is dirt road. My culture is the furthest thing from destroying ourselves. Two Christmases ago, we had dinner. He could barely wheeze out his favorite jokes, his lungs were erect accordion, I forced laughter to try and sing along. A week after I left, he turned his house into a thunderstorm. Some bad chemistry nearly blew up half our block. He lived, but now his skeletons were parading from the closet. He and I are both so tired, the difference is he stopped giving his shit about who noticed. Every morning I make sure my hair is going the right way so that people like you think my life is doing the same. Jason makes the saddest jokes about how he has as many hairs as he does teeth. This town has started averting its eyes, thinking him a walking nightmare. And if that is the case, then what am I for never trying to wake him up? Any Aww. cesspool of internet comments will tell me the only people who die from meth are just rednecks and hillbillies who deserve it. I mean, you can buy the supplies at Walmart and what kind of people shop there anyway? And if we find a celebrity dressed in cocaine in a hotel suite, we will all by tragedy, but if you are a small town kid who gets the title meth head, they will close that casket before you stop breathing. So ready to bury him, if you know that Jason has been clean for three years. His smile is a keyboard. It is important to know he is still smiling. Even the most used pianos can still play a song. Mm.